Shalom, y'all. Islam. Shalom Aleikum. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. God bless. Welcome back to the channel. Look. I appreciate all of y'all coming through. I appreciate the comments. And um, look, let's start, let's start this morning, because the title is Um The Jihad Continues. And this is I don't like using the term Bible study, but that's what the masses understand. So a little bit of clickbait. I use the word Bible study. I know every Christian should have ran in here and thought it was gonna be about what y'all talking about, but it's not. It's not gonna be about Christianity, right? It's not gonna be about Islam. It's not gonna well it is gonna be about Islam, but it's not gonna be about being a Muslim. It's not gonna be about being a Hebrew. Uh whatever. It's gonna be about being obedient to the actual word of God, right? So if anybody that that think prayer is something to get you something, hold on a second, let me turn this down. Shout out to Beanie Siegel, feel it in the air. So if Anybody think that prayer is a way to get you something from the creator? Um, you got that in reverse. And this is what you learn from from the elders. They think that you pray and ask the creator for anything. We don't have to ask. All was already given. This is one of the most common misconceptions that people get with dealing with this book. And that's Christianity. That's the the you ask God, God give. No, that's that's some greek shit that's greek that's germanic that's roman and i know because i'm studied in it right and the amazing part about me knowing what i know and taking the time to study it is it's real simple you just take the time to study it but to some lame ass somebody that's just bitter at heart the easiest thing to do is just say oh no it's not and we're not going to deal with those people ever again, right? Because as simple as they say, no, it's not. You have the same power to say, okay, you're not here to prove shit to them, all right? Um, again, that's why I appreciate y'all so much for coming through. Um, sis, Jackie, I love you, sis. Look, you know we've been, we've been hand in hand since we met each other, right? And it don't matter where you run at or what you feel. And you're going to get back to where I am because our common unity is the creator. I know you think you by yourself and you think, but you're not. Let me just stop right there. Like everybody that, that's coming here, we have a common unity. I have the time y'all do not have, right? Your creator will not leave you. I'm not going to make some Christianity type speech. I won't do it. I'm not going to try to pull people in with lies. What I can tell y'all is what I walked out and pretty much I've shown it to y'all. Y'all seen my family? Um, it's no reason to lie. It's no money involved. And, and I say that because I have to. That That's the weight that I lifted. Now, the weight that I lifted don't have anything to do with me per se. We stricken the same. You know, whatever it is that y'all suffering from, whether it's physical or mental, because the mental part to keep your physical fucked up. Now, I struggle with stomach cancer, right? Something else. All roads lead back to the creator, but I struggled with stomach cancer, and that was because I lived a cancerous life. When you give yourself and your body the best chance to do what the creator designed it to do, you should have minimal problems, even when you run into these situations. Now, I'm quite sure me, Munch, Kale, and Zoe came across the same coronavirus bug that everybody else did, but we're not going to catch it. That's not our business. Our body just designed to fend off anything. That's not supposed to be in it. People, mechanisms, situations, all the same way. It doesn't matter what the situation is. The creator's rule is the same. Y'all get it? We protect it against all. When you operate on your full functions. I mentioned about T-cells yesterday. And this is another example of my jihad. Somebody said uh, that they saw the same or they got the same recommendation that I got. And you missed the point. And this is where I will defend the ground that people come in here to get something from. Because when you make a comment on any of my videos, I understand whether you know what I'm talking about. Now, all the, all the stuff that I say here pertaining to the creator, your comment was you got the same recommendation, right? This might not be the place for you. I'm not here to, to be one and... and 
we gonna have this this membership. You got me fucked up. And if I let you do that, people that come here like my sister, like Jackie, that's struggling with something that that was pertaining, I didn't even know that. So I'm going to defend the ground and, and make you absolutely sure and direct of what I'm saying. You're not going to come in here tracking mud from some other ideologies. We don't do that here. I'm on a jihad for real. I've been here since 2018, and I will defend the ground with however I need to. If I need to be rude, if I need to be up in your shit or be downright disrespectful, then so be it because it's disrespectful for you to come in here Listen to me all this time and not get what I'm saying. You need to get the fuck out of here. And that's the most respect I can give you because it's people that really listen. We don't want to be a part of that shit. Do you understand that? Don't come here. I don't want y'all here. I will disrespect the fuck out of you because it's people, like I said, my sister, this T-cell shit. Some of us are really going through shit other than your ideology because I'm not here bitching every day about my condition, how I feel. Don't worry about that. I walk through the strength of the creator, so don't come in here messing up what I'm saying. There's people that really listen, that's struggling with shit, and everything is an actor, y'all. Don't come here trying to belong. Another reason why I stopped smoking grass on camera, because I smoke grass too. Good, that don't make you me, right? Don't come in here trying to, and it's the work of the opposition. Don't come here trying to feel comfortable. People in here with real fucking struggles, and this word is the piece that gets you through it. You know, I don't know whether you had five to six fucking months to live. If you did, you should be somewhere telling people that about the the grace of the creator pulling you out. Don't come here trying to hold hands with some kumbaya shit. People trying to get an understanding. Ain't no tree huggers in here. It's work in this motherfucker. You dig it? So watch your comments if you don't understand. I blocked the fuck out of you. Don't want you here. I'm not I'm not here for the following. It won't be that many people that get it. And obviously, some of you motherfuckers got me confused with Christianity. That's not my flag. Watch your mouth in the fucking comments. Sis, I love you. And the T-cell count thing was to tell people that your body will defend itself. And before I knew that, I stood on the word of the creator wholeheartedly in 2016. I'm just getting this information now in 2021, but I was out there on a battlefield battling. So don't come in here telling me you got the same fucking recommendation unless you using that shit. I won't allow it. I declared the fucking jihad and I mean that I will offend whoever I need to offend. We ain't got to be friends. I don't know you motherfuckers, but I know that cancer that I had is out of here. So whether you meant it one way or not, I don't give a fuck. Watch your mouth. I cut your lips off in here. You need to think before you talk because I'm not going to let people mess the word up of God how it's supposed to be given. Take that Christianity, that Muslim, that Judaism shit the fuck up out of here. I stand on one thing in here. That's the word of God. If you don't understand that, go. Go. Those days are over explaining this. If there's three people in here to understand what I'm talking about, all praises, mashallah, to the most high. But to you that don't get it, you need to learn to get it or get the fuck away because I'm not talking about what you're talking about. I'd be more than glad to give you, your mother, your father, and your children the cancer that I had. Then come up out of it and make the connection. Don't come in here fucking disrespecting the creator or me, nigga. I went through that shit and I'm going to say what I'm saying. It's a free country. Go make a fucking channel and tell people what you went through. Bring them to the creator. Bring them to the creator. Don't bring them to me. Maybe you shouldn't be if you don't get it. And I don't care how it was said. If I need to be offensive, then I will. But you going to understand the word of God is not this. It's not that. It's right down the middle. For everybody that do get it. Prayer. Is you asking to stay in order with the creator. It's already yours. If you stay in that order. These things are already yours. You don't have to pray for it. You have a 100. When you start out the womb. You get subtractions. From the way you move around. You don't have to ask for it. When I got back in line. With how I was supposed to act. Everything. Everything began to restore itself. Now I still have these. You have scars. Got a scar right there, right? Titanium screws in my hand. And some days this hand is different from other days, but still working. You, it's no bleeding here, right? 
I was strong enough to withstand whatever went through that hand. It came through, but my hand is not debilitated. It's working now. Whatever I was doing to get this scar, that's what happened. So now this is a result of it. I'm wearing this for life, but it's not debilitating. You dig it? Your body will, will heal itself, but you have to make sure it's at optimal, optimal performance so it can heal itself, i.e., Blood flow is everything, y'all. Everything. So what you put in your body can determine how your blood flows. It's oxygen in your body, right? You want to oxygenate your blood. You want your blood to flow walking, you know, moving your toes, especially when you get to an old age. And if you're young enough to, to do something, why not do it instead of wishing that you can how about your mobility, your movement? All of that is taken away. Have you thanked the creator for it? This is how prayer rock off. You could be feeling whatever, horrible, but if you're still moving, you're grateful for that. That's your place to be in for whatever you did, and you still show gratitude and what would look like a bad situation. The creator, he can't help but honor that. Molly, my mom. Hold on, y'all. I think Molly trying to come in. A little girl. Follow her dad. You know what I mean? Oh, that's Zoe. That's my other little girl. Zoe. What time is it? Uh, 523. She 14. She on her best uh, teenage stuff now. She took over where Kaylin left off, raiding the refrigerator all hours of the night. But I love it. That's life. That's a perk of life. That's what the creator gave me. Get to see my daughter grow up. She get to be raised better than what I was raising. It's not monetary. She'll have the peace that I didn't have. And when you don't have peace, you set up for disease. Mental disease is worse than the physical one. If you can't beat it mentally, your body has no chance physically. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I try to tell, I don't try to tell, I tell, sis, this directly to you. You know I love you, right? Jackie Brown. You know the stomach cancer. You know the Crohn's. You know my story. And this for you, sis. I don't complain about shit because that's not why I'm here. And I know you don't complain. But days are fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Some of my days are fucked up. And I understand that I lived I lived a a life that got me scars inside my body. So some days my body just like my hand. You like it rain, I got pains today. Some days I eat certain shit or don't eat. It don't matter. And um I go through those times. But while I'm going through them, my eyes still open. I still see Munch, I still see Zoe. I'm still alive, so I'm still punching. And the pain, the pain is the part. And when you can separate that from living and just like, well, I'm still here. And ultimately, if I'm still here, I can fix it. We have an order for life, practice every day. The other side, the death, the not being here is is... It's easy to think about some days, you know, especially for me being home. Pretty much I was a munch is working from home. Being home by myself, getting to wrestle with whether the cancer was really going to wipe me out. The days that I felt bad, like, and then I bullied it. I was like, well, fuck it. Come get me then, man. Like some days I would feel sorry for myself in, in a sense, like the pain. But in other days, I was like, nigga, come get some then. You know what I'm saying? Come get me. Come rock the fuck off. If you can, if you want to boogie with me, come and boogie. And motherfucker ain't met me yet on a boogie tip. And it's been days when it's been excruciating pain. I'm up and down and weak. But I tell you what, I'm still here punching the fuck out. And that's where I'm going to be. And all of us have that power. All of us have that strength. And we all need each other. You know? As much as y'all here, like I'm saying, if y'all not here, Ralph, Sister Jackie, now, Jessica Martin, Maria, my, like, we here. We have a common unity in this word. I come from Christianity, travel through Hebraic Judaism, all these 
thoughts, all these religions that I had to go through to get the actual word of God. And like I've been saying, the one that's the strike truest to what the word of the creator is, is Islam. And that's mastering yourself. And I do read the book of Torah and I've made the connection. Third Surah 84 from the Quran. I've read that, that is no distinction. But I also read that they believe in Jesus. I can't do it. The whole Jesus concept has nothing to do with Abraham. Nothing. The book says, do not add, do not subtract. So I'm going to start now with the book. The actual book, right? And I've been saying I've been on a jihad since 2018. I know what a jihad is. Pull up the meaning in, in Google. Like, go to Google right now. Pull up the meaning of jihad. And it's going to talk about Islam. And don't let that be a dirty word. This is what Christianity taught you. Christianity is Greek. Christianity is Roman. Germanic. That's a whole nother religious system. They tacked their book onto the back of the word of God and called it the New Testament. Anybody practicing Torah, you know it was done. Once the word of God got handed down, it was not to be added to or subtracted from. Elders, I can't even call y'all elders anymore. You children, you basically old babies. That's what you are. You have no idea what was written and in your arrogance. You just, you played with God. You played with him. You literally played with him. You gave generation after generation of these fuckers who played with our creator. Now we here. And you run out of real estate for lies to fall on. So now you confused as fucking. And God isn't one of your options. The creator is no way. There's no way you so far from grace right now. You really think that evil has a say without God. Elders, this is the first verse that I need. For y'all to look, and I'm going to y'all book, the King James Version, the bullshit. But as far as it's pertaining to the Old Testament, I'll go in your King James Version and read from the Old Testament. Isaiah, for you elders that like to believe in the devil, believe in some force outside of yourself doing all this shit. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light. And create darkness. I make peace. And create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Not Jesus, the Lord. This is Isaiah. Jesus is not around. No Jesus. And if any of you elders ever say out your mouth. Please, people, let, let an elder hear this. That Jesus is the son of God. And you have no proof of that. You stand in blasphemy. And subject to death, subject to pestilence, disease, your family. Do you understand that? Don't go around playing with this word. I curse you and everything about you from this moment on. And I don't need y'all to believe. I'm still sitting here free of stomach cancer. Y'all have no way of getting in contact with the creator and people that do. They the crazy ones, right? Showing you they don't pay this man taxes. Showing you that they don't drive under this man's license. And y'all looking for a motherfucker to part the Red Sea. Well, in these times, the Red Sea don't need to be parted. Ain't no Egyptians running behind us with a gang of fucking horses and chariots. What's in front of you now is your subjugation to this government. Your subjugation to disease. I just escaped both of those. Easy. Right in front of you. It wasn't any extravagant over the years plans that you had to work out i practiced this it's a it's a sustained war right when you go to war you don't go for one day when you work out you don't work out for one day to get the results it becomes a lifestyle right elders what you've been practicing except a bunch of fucking voodoo what have you done to move anything what have you learned what have you taken from back then to now to help anybody move you stuck you stuck on religion. So I'm going to use the book, The Word of God, to beat the shit out of your old asses, right? 
And then you'll know exactly who your lying ass has been. And I don't want to be nice to y'all. You know, like, I, I have resentment for, for all the lies, for all the years. And, I, and I'm thinking about, let's, let's play like all of us for one minute. That you sitting in a position of the creator and you made all of this stuff, all these people and gave them like simple rules to follow to have the most. Y'all don't want to believe in God, but you want to believe in Abraham Lincoln. You want to believe in Frederick Douglass, Harriet Tubman. All that shit is false. Harriet Tubman ain't never did shit for me. Fuck all y'all black idols. Fuck y'all black statues. What you going to do to me? Excommunicate me from being black. Fuck y'all. On the creator, fuck y'all. He never told me I was black. Y'all know why I call myself the cheat code? Cheat codes are pertaining to games, right? And the parameters of the game. When you have a cheat code, the game don't even matter. You walk through that bitch like it's no walls. It's no walls with the truth. The lies have parameters and limits that they can go through. The truth will remain. It will cut down everything from generation to generation to generation to generation. No matter what lie you come up with, the truth will remain. If you give the truth up and accept lies, then it's on you. You accepted Jesus as son of God without no power. So now you got a proxy. You accepted Muhammad. So now you got a proxy. Y'all some blasphemous fuckers. And I don't care whether you. Uh, Muslim, Christian, Hebrew, you have put a barrier between yourself and the ultimate power. Y'all fucking sickening. And then you got the other side that take from the Bible and say, I am God. And think you didn't say some shit or dumb nigga. Psalms 82 and 6 say, ye are gods. Where do you think you get anything that comes out your dumb ass mouth from? The person before you? Your dumbass elder, no matter who they were, if they not giving reverence to the ultimate power, a law, the creator, life and death, that nigga living in ignorance and under his own recognizance. <laughs> Shout out to Paul. You living under what you think and under what you want. And it ain't never going to work. Niggas reach the highest heights. R. Kelly. Bill Cosby. Russell Simmons. Harvey Weinstein. All this money in the world, but now they're exhibiting deviant behavior because nobody taught them morality. Both the Cuomo's, Don Lemon, all these celebrities, icons, people that make way more money than me. Let them, let them babysit your children then. If that's the measure of who is great in society, because once they take the measure of God away from you, you whores and prostitutes. Now you shaking your ass to see who like you the most. Your value, sisters, pretty, beautiful sisters, big asses, big titties. Add to somebody, fuck you. What, what else they want with you? Look at this arm candy. So you a good woman because you got a fat ass, a pretty face. Fuck out of here, man. That's it. So y'all get dudes just digging a fat ass and pretty face. How committed could this nigga be? The next or the not even a prettier face, just a different pretty face, a different pretty outfit. Now you're in competition with a bunch of whores like yourself. You like that it's use a whore, Instagram whore, whatever, all these followers you got. And you do what with the followers? Use your face and your pussy, your, all that to make money. You a disgusting bitch. I'm saying I'm. It's not personal. I'm not, I don't know y'all. I'm not saying names. I'm just saying what the act is. And if you can stand in that and say, I'm a disgusting bitch, then more power to you. But that's what the fact of the matter is. You don't have any real value. You selling sex, sister. And if that's the extent of you, then you ain't shit. And then you have babies that you raise up from the sex that you sold. Generation after generation after generation. That's a lifestyle. That's not white supremacy. That's ignorance. That's not treating yourself in the manner that the creator said treat yourself in. Now, the flip side is, sisters, don't come out here looking like a fucking ragamuffin or a dirt ball. Ladies, y'all got curves. Show them motherfuckers. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And promiscuous ain't with these religious types saying these motherfuckers celebrating Christmas. You Jews in America, you Christians, all you motherfuckers. Y'all out here bullshitting with holidays. Your holidays don't count per Hashem. Per Allah, per Jah. 
Y'all making this shit up as y'all go along. Your ancestors were some fucked up niggas. If you can't separate from them, you ain't gonna see God. Y'all steeped in religion. Every culture has rituals, right? But that shit better not cross the word of God. And you better not put it on God and say, well, it's a part of God. Your Jesus won't have shit to do with God. Neither do your Muhammad. Y'all know what's so crazy about people? Bro, all the work that, that Moshe did, anybody ever accuse him of being the son of God? When he laid down and prayed on behalf of the Israelites, elders, do you even know this shit? He laid prostrate 40 days and 40 nights because y'all have fucked up. Got it fucked up. So we had to run back up the hill. This is the narrative of the book. This is the storyline. We've never seen a Jesus lay down in front of God and pray on behalf of Israel. And then on the flip side of that, after Mo prayed for these folk, he came down a mountain and put the, put the sword to some of them to let it be known. Oh, this shit ain't going without punishment. Prayed for them, loved them enough, but still whipped on that ass because that's what was required. Same thing happened to Mo. You know, he got out of line a little bit, just a teensy bit, teensy wincy. Teensy weensy bit he got out of line. And he didn't get to cross over to the promised land. Do y'all understand? Promised land ain't heaven. Promised land was actually some land that was promised to him because these motherfuckers was in a bad way. Couldn't grow produce, so any herd animal that they had wasn't gonna make it. They end up eating themselves for punishment after birth, the kids, the whole fucking nine yards, man. That's the narrative of the story. You will go hungry if you don't follow the ways of the creator. It won't be dough to need. It won't be bread in your basket. You'll be sick, impoverished, enslaved. All these things are said in Deuteronomy 28. Elders, y'all make me, boy, have you ever read it? Be honest with your fucking selves. You sickly, you ain't supposed to be that way. Look, I don't see no other elders fucked up like y'all. Because y'all played the most. You did the most. You claim you the people of God. I don't hear white people claiming that. So-called whites. But you see them acting in a more godly manner with the civility of it. It was a time they called the age of ignorance, right? In Islam. And it was never age of ignorance. Never. From Noah to Ibrahim. The, the ignorance is in us. The ignorance is not... In, in the word of God, it's going to, it's dead. Like, it's, you're going to have to dig in. You're not going to be superficial with God. You're not going to grab the first part of it. One plus one equals two. One plus one plus two minus three divide. You done fucked up because you didn't wait and see the whole equation. You jumped in with a premature answer that's been said over and over again. You haven't looked at the fullness of the creator, what the relationship is supposed to be be between us and the deity you wanted to be religious you want to go to a building and show these superficial ways that oh i keep the word of god i'm, I'm this way and y'all see what i'm rocking today another fucking perversion this is a promise from the creator a covenant the first covenant given from the creator to us about our relationship with the creator man you wicked motherfucker in an attempt to distort what the word of God is to make it unappealing to the tongue. You taking a rainbow and made it some faggot ass calling card. Let me read. I believe that's Genesis 9, if I'm not mistaken. Genesis 9. Um, God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, be fertile and increase and fill the earth. The fear and the dread of you shall be upon the beast of the earth and upon all the birds of the sky, everything which the earth is a stare, and upon all the fish of the sea, they are given into your hands. Um, this explains a lot to me, and one of the things that I touch on, like over in Africa, places where it's wild beasts at, they don't attack man. And even in a few animal attacks that you have, in society, a situation, a city like Baltimore, you have people attacking and killing people. There's way more human deaths at the hands of human beings who are not supposed to be savage 
than at the hands of actual savage beasts, which are lions living in these places where they roam freely. It can't be that they are... You, you understand, like, do we look menacing? Ah, They fight each other, but they stay away from us. It's not magic. It's written right here, and you're not going to explain that away. In the beginning, there's no way that these animals looked at us and saw us as intimidating. I'm not going to play dumb. I'm not going to play science. I don't believe any of that shit. The cheat code is, I don't care about your game. I have results outside of what they tell me. Why would I go back in? Y'all understand? I'm emancipated from dead, dead matrix. I can see. I don't need anything from them to exist in happiness like none of you do. The measure that they try to push to you, like, you need this, you need that. Now you don't. I need the peace that the creator gave me for this day. You know, tomorrow, I don't even know if I'm going to be here or not. But that's not my business again. My orders, firm, and today. You know, this could be it. This could be it for me today. I don't know what's going to happen in today. But I'm getting up with the creator on my mind and moving in that way. The day can't be bad. It can't. If I'm serving the creator, it can't. Even if it's my last day. I love Munch today. I love Zoe today. I love Kale in a day. That's what's going to ring on. I, I can't be concerned about this other shit. And anything outside the creator is you, you living for death. Life. Life is what we have order for. Don't be concerned about the other side. Focus on life with reckless abandon. The word of the creator is life. The fear and dread of you shall be upon the beast of the earth, upon all the birds of the sky, everything which which the earth is a stair, and upon all the fish and the sea they are given into your hand. Every creature that lives shall be yours, to eat as with the green grasses. I give you all of these. You must not, however, eat flesh with its life blood in it. No blood. You drinking the blood of Jesus. Elders, you drinking the fucking blood of Jesus. Where did God say to do that at? Where did he say to do that at? I don't give a fuck about how old you are, Grandpa. I'm a 50-fucking-year-old man. I've seen a half a century. I think I could stand on that. Just show me. You don't want to see y'all doing this Congress. You can't answer that shit. You see how Congress getting grilled under oath? You under oath from God. You can say what you want to people, but your old ass going to suffer if you're not suffering now. Stand steadfast in your fucking stubbornness and stiff-neckedness. Send a book. You already been circled out and you in the crosshairs and still talking that shit. Y'all old asses, he'll keep you here to punish you. To know my evil ass grandfather laid in the bed blind, diabetic for the last fucking maybe 12 years of his life. He was an evil motherfucker when he was alive. Had money too. People had to kiss his ass. He made his bed. And laid in that shit for about 12 years. You know what? I was a young kid. Just got my license. I had to take my uncle's son to feed this motherfucker every, every night. Put him to bed. And he used to have that money, money. Like, illegal numbers back in the day. So people kissed his ass. And then when he got stricken, nobody was fucking with that nigga. He died alone by himself. All those kids he had. One daughter. She lived in a house that that he had now my aunt sylvia she kind of stayed close to him but they all was fucking weird and you don't know the weirdness until you look at them as people titles don't do titles your titles will fool you every fucking time they'll make you they'll make you not tell on a pedophile they'll make you not snitch on molestation oh granddad granddad that's a man that touched your place i fuck his old ass up Ain't no granddad here. It's the word of God. You you willing to give up titles? If not, it's not for you. Y'all say God ought to respect our title. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck out of here. Y'all play. You must not, however, eat flesh with his life blood in it. But for your own life blood, I re will require a reckoning. I will require it of every beast, of every man too. I will require a reckoning for human life of every man for that of his fellow man. 
Whoever sheds the blood of a man, by man shall his blood be shed. For in his image did God make man. Be fertile. Then and increase abound on the earth. And increase on it. Increase. Increase on it. Elders, what have you increased? And God said to Noah and his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and your offspring to come. And with every living thing that is with you, birds, cattle, every wild beast as well. All that have come out of the ark, every living thing on earth, I will maintain my covenant with you. Never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood. And never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. God further said, this is the sign that I set for the covenant between me and you. Every living creature with you for all ages to come. I've set my bow in the clouds and it shall serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. You fucking faggots. Why wouldn't I throw fireballs at you cocksuckers? All the colors, all the bandanas you faggots could wear. Y'all choose to attack the creator. <laughs> Y'all Catholic. Christianity. You actually allow these fucking faggots. Well, it's y'all church, so I can't even... You, you understand? We can't really con contend with them for having homosexuals in church. The whole Catholic religion is based on homosexuality, Sodom, homosex... You know what I'm saying? So Barack Obama, naturally, as an agent... And when I talk about the devil, the, that devil don't exist. The creator said he created the light and the darkness. Oh, does y'all understand that? The, the weight of that verse when God said he is the evil. So now what do you blame? How do we get past that, elders? Elders, I'm talking to your lame asses. How do we get past God being the evil? I ain't going to back up off of you. You busy running your houses. The day is it's Sunday. Your day that you go in and glorify Jesus. I need you. I, I really need you to explain to me, God being the evil, where's the devil come in? I'm going to get to it myself. Because obviously it's beyond you elders. You haven't done it in all these years. And I can see because your kids outside running the fucking muck that the creator said not, not to happen. My kid's not running the muck, so I'm going to stand in it. And for all of y'all that think, oh, you think you better? Yeah, I do. And I prove that I'm not. So when somebody says, you think you're stronger than me? Yeah, I do. I put those reps in. Why the fuck would I stand down to a chump that ain't stronger than me? You don't know more than me. You ain't humble. Fuck me being humble, nigga. I'm going to stand in the arrogance that you motherfuckers understand. But in the truth of God, now come get some. Come outdo me. On God, outdo me. I don't give a fuck about your own personal accolades. I got a Range Rover. I got the most pussy. You the most pussy. Because the pussy qualify you as a man, right? Nigga, get yourself a wife. Get somebody to complete your bitch ass. And you elders, you taught these young niggas that. You know how I know? My uncle Jerome Barry, this nigga had money, the son of my grandfather. So he the junior number kingpin, right? He got bitches all over the place. Cars, the first time I seen a Mercedes Benz was a 450. This was like in the 70s. My uncle was driving that shit. Eldorados, all of that, had women galore. This is what I saw. Uncle Bernard, Uncle Cup, women, Uncle Danny. The only one that wasn't a ladies' man was Junebug. My Uncle Junebug, he he was borderline retarded. And I don't mean in a retardation way, but in a nerd type of way. He didn't have any children his whole life. He just passed recently. Used to be my favorite uncle um, till late on in life when I got into this word of God. Saw what kind of fucking heathen he was. We actually had an argument because I, I pulled the Bible out and asked him, show me where Jesus said, where God said he had a son named Jesus. He want to have this conversation. Get the fuck out my house, man. You in here lying. I got children. I got children I'm trying to raise and not on a bullshit y'all was raised on. Y'all dying from cancer. You dying from diabetes, high blood pressure. Not me. And don't ask me how I could say it. Because you don't believe motherfucker has nothing to do with the word of God. Who the fuck do y'all think y'all are struggling? I stood up to that man and said, fuck you on taxes on God. I'm not paying that. And they can't find any fault in it. 
But you got to go to war with that shit. You ain't going to be some quiet, whisper behind the gate. Yeah, me too. No, not me too, bitch. You stand beside me. You shut the fuck up for the comments. Anybody's like, yeah, yeah, I, I did that. You ain't do shit, nigga. You bringing glory to your fucking self. Everything I'm saying is about God. Watch your mouth in those comments. I'm telling you. You niggas still paying taxes. Shut up and listen. You still got a driver's license. Shut up and listen. I ain't talking about me. I'm talking about what's coming next. You fucking jealous hearted niggas. You going to expose yourself in here. And I don't give a fuck if you leave. I ain't ask you to come. I'm from I'm here for people that really understand. They got shit that's going on in their life. They're sick of this shit. You Biden voting ass niggas. It's not the place for you. You racial motivated. This ain't the place for you. You pro pro anything other than the creator. Allah, Jah. Get the fuck out of here, man. This ain't the place for you. Don't try to confuse the message that I'm giving the truth. Don't do it. Don't hurt yourself. And you'll never see me probably in person, right? But the word of God. Don't get your kids destroyed. Don't get yourself fucked up in here playing. If you're ready to go to war, then that's good. That's the creator. Understand that. He understand. And I'm not asking anybody to move like I'm moving, right? And with that, don't tell me shit about you. I'm not pressing you to do shit. Don't come here. Yeah, me too. If you say me too, bitch, and you got driver's license and you paying taxes, fuck your family. Fuck your life because you're trying to mess this shit up. And I ain't going to let it happen. Not going to let it happen. There's people that really want to hear. There's people that's tearing themselves out of years of bullshit. And then you to come in here and try to do patchwork. Another reason why I stopped smoking on, on screen. Because you niggas are coming and think. Because you smoke weed too. That we the same. Fuck out of here man. I took a shit today. Did you? Yeah I took a shit too. We shit brothers. The shit out of here. Talking about the word of God man. Nobody here to play with y'all. Y'all play too much. I've set my bow in the clouds, and it shall serve as a sign or a covenant between the earth and me. Not that I suck dicks. The covenant between God and man. The rainbow. And sometimes you're like, I don't even want to wear that shit. People going to think I'm gay. Bitch, I'm going to wear it, and people going to think I'm about the work of the creator. Fuck y'all dick suckers. You all loud and bright with sucking dick. Well, I'm going to be loud and bright with calling y'all dick suckers and taking that fucking rainbow back. Fuck is wrong with y'all? You dick suckers need to be ashamed of yourself trying to take the word of God and twist it for sucking dick. Y'all disgusting. I will remember my covenant between me and you, every living creature among all flesh, so that the water shall never again become a flood to destroy you. That's what this rainbow is about. It ain't about golden showers, motherfucker. It's about a flood. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all the creatures, all the flesh that is on earth. God said to Noah, shall be the sign of the covenant that I have established between me and all flesh on earth. The sons of Noah who came out of the ark, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, Ham being the father of Canaan, these three were the sons of Noah, and from these the whole world branched out. Noah, the tiller of the soil, was first to plant a vineyard. He drank of the wine and became drunk, and he uncovered himself within his tent. Ham, the father of Canaan, saw his father's nakedness and told his two brothers outside. This is where Bible study comes in. You like to say Bible study? This is confusing to some people. They think that Ham actually saw Noah, his balls and his penis and his little hiney hole or whatever. And it's a curse to see somebody naked. This is truly some fucking religion at its best and people to have no understanding of the word of God. And the reason that they don't have any understanding of it is because they haven't read the book in its totality. They've written the story. They have read the story. See, this is a story. This is a lesson, but they haven't read the laws of God. Now, when you read the laws of God and you get to a story like Canaan saw the nakedness of his father. When Noah woke up from his wine and learned that his youngest son had done to him, he said, Curse be Canaan, the lowest of slaves shall, shall he be to his brothers. Now, 
But Shem and Japheth took a cloth, placed it against both their backs, walking backwards. They covered their father's nakedness. Their eyes were turned the other way so they did not, not see their father's nakedness. Let's go. Remember where we at right now. Genesis 9 and 23. Give y'all a little context of how the scripts work. Edict was not written out at this time, right? But somehow they knew this shit was a sin. And me seeing my son naked, me seeing my brothers naked, you, you going to count that as a sin? Because my eyes, homosexual acts is what God is against man on man. So what was this nakedness? You need to turn to Leviticus 18, right? Let's go to Leviticus 18. This is where the word of God is, like the law. See, it's a book with laws and it's a book of lessons that pertain to keeping the law what happened when people didn't keep the law so we go into leviticus 18. leviticus 18 is their constitution for sex for how you supposed to behave sexually right it starts off with speak to this like people tell them i'm the lord your god you should not copy the practices of the land of egypt where you dwelt to the land of Canaan to where I'm taking you or follow their laws. My rules alone shall you observe faithfully in my laws. I'm the Lord. It's the covenant. This is, this is the conversation that went down between Moshe, the creator, and the people of the Lord. None of you shall come near anyone of his own flesh to uncover nakedness. I am the Lord. Your father's nakedness, that is the nakedness of your mother. You shall not uncover it. She is your mother. You shall not uncover her nakedness. Do not uncover the nakedness of your father's wife. That is the nakedness of your father. The nakedness of your sister, your father's daughter, or your mother, whether born into the household or outside, do not uncover their nakedness. This is sex. The nakedness of your son's daughter, your daughter's daughter to do not uncover their nakedness for their nakedness is yours. The nakedness of your father's wife, daughter who, who was born into your father's house. She is your sister. Do not uncover her nakedness. Do not uncover the nakedness of your father's sister. She is your father's flesh. Do not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister for, for she is your mother's flesh. Do not uncover the nakedness of your father's brother. Do not approach his wife. She is your aunt. Do not uncover the nakedness of your daughter-in-law. She is your son's wife. You shall not uncover her nakedness. Do not uncover the nakedness of your brother's wife. It is the nakedness of your brother. Do not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter. Nor shall you marry her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter and uncover her nakedness. They are kindred. It is depravity. Do not marry a woman as a rival to her sister and un uncover her nakedness in the other's lifetime if one of the sisters die off all bets off it's cool do not cause women to go jealous like fellas you hear that sisters are sisters don't make that bloodline your little disqualify you punk faggot the most high said don't do that do not pit women against each other you assholes elders y'all pass that down no my uncles they had this woman, that woman. My, my Aunt Beverly actually entertained both the girlfriends. It could be one that had a baby by this nigga and another one. They outside the house fighting. I seen two big drug dealers squaring off outside my Aunt Beverly's house about her daughters. Dating drug. Do not marry a woman as a rival to her sisters. Do not come near a woman. Do not come near or in a woman during her period of uncleanliness to uncover her nakedness. Do not have carnal relations with your neighbor's wife and defile yourself. Do not allow any of your offspring to be offered up to Molech and do not profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. You know what profane in the name of the God is? These, these things that you do in the name of God, you profaning them. You celebrating Christmas in the name of God. That's profanity, bitch. You celebrating Easter in the name of God. You profane motherfuckers. You understand, elders? Y'all been profane your whole fucking life talking shit. You proud dummies. The nakedness. 
How many people ta- thought Noah was talking about he saw Noah, asshole, and then that was a curse? Ain't no fucking curse. He fucked his mom. Do not uncover elders. Is that clear? See, this is Leviticus 18. Genesis is up that way. God's law has always been in effect. It's the thing that keeps this earth together. Before, before it was written down that these animals wouldn't touch you, those animals wasn't touching you. God just made a conversation for that why, which was, was going on. None of you have read this shit in this book about fucking your mom, your sisters, but inherently it's in you. It's in your mouth and in your heart for you to do and observe. Deuteronomy 30, 11, 12, 13. We didn't need to eat it. But this day in Deuteronomy 30, heaven and earth will judge you based on this word. So it's a judgment. It's a contract, a written contract, and none of y'all could get out of it. Abraham and Sarah were brothers and sisters. In the story, the Israelite bloodline can't be. It's Ishmael. Like, I don't need any help. I don't need anybody to reassure me. But you know what? I'm happy that I have Jarrell. I'm happy that I have Jackie, sis. I'm happy that I have Miriam Ali, sister Jessica Park. I'm happy that I have y'all in my life because it make pushing this over a lot easier. It's people and misery don't love company. You know, um, that's some bullshit. Misery want to be out of that. They want somebody else to take that misery so they don't get it. They want to stand on your fucking head. And people always talk about this, this crabs in a barrel type mentality. And why would, why would crabs get in a barrel in the first place? Like, what the fuck are you talking about with that? Crabs usually never in a barrel unless... You're about to eat them, right? And we called not to fuck with crabs in the first place. That's shellfish. So this is the cheat code. Don't hit me off with y'all bullshit. I don't fuck with crabs. You know what I'm saying? In more ways than one, stay away from crabs. Pubic of the kind you eat. So their mentalities do not apply to me. I'm the cheat code. Once you bring one of your parameters up to me, I slap you in the face with the word of God. Shattering all your bullshit. It's the truth. It's what your nation is governed under. One nation under who? Just say it out your mouth. One nation under who? Said son of God, Muhammad, Rabbi, priest, pastor. Please insert one of y'all asses in for God so he can fuck y'all up. And I'm quite sure Bill Cosby thought he had got away with it. The only thing about that, <laughs> life and death. Life and death is at the hands of the creator. You'll be here. Till he put his foot up your ass through you or your children. Now, see, I'm not here to be like kumbaya. I'm, I'm talking about the Lord of hosts. We in those times right now. And I see the death. His arrow is going to be drunk with blood. Drunk with blood. That's what he said. They going to be drunk with blood, y'all. You see outside, the young, the old said that too. It don't make a difference. Y'all out here bitching and complaining like, how could this young baby? Oh, my God. Say it again. Oh, my God. That's how. And the elders, it's your fault. It's your Christmases. It's your Easter's. It's all these external shits. It's your birthday, your constellation. It was Libra season. It's Libra season. I see what the most high said about Libra season. Elders, y'all teaching birthdays out here? I'm going to tell y'all something about Job and his kids. The one that y'all tell us he had so much what would Job have, y'all? Patience. He wasn't nothing but one of you pretentious-ass elders the same way playing church. And the Most High came down on his bitch ass for playing church. One second. Damn, I forgot where I was going, bro. Let me go to Job then. Ah, I know where I was going. Deuteronomy 17, please, if you will. This is, again, Musa Moshe. Giving the order that the creator wanted him to give to the people. You know why? Because the people didn't want to hear the word of God no more. No, no, we don't want to hear that shit no more. You tell us. You talk to him most and you get a word to us. That's y'all. Like now. Don't want to hear from God yourself. Oh, tell it to Muhammad. Tell it to Jesus. We, we listen to them. We don't. But Moses wasn't about that play. So he put the blade to about 3,000 of the motherfuckers one day for playing around. Jesus, you just turn up a cheek. That's what you do. You just say, I'll be back in three days. Muhammad, you floating around on a magic donkey, a uh, 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 
a carpet, Aladdin, a camel. Fuck is you talking about, man? We the divine beings. Ain't no angels. The messengers of God are me and you. He create the light, the darkness, the good, the evil. Out of the Lord, he do all these things. At any given fucking time in your life, you are one of those things. Nickel. Lady Nickel. You shall not sacrifice to the Lord your God an ox or a sheep that has any defect or serious kind of blemish for is an abhorrent to your God. Now listen, as far as sacrifice, it's not sacrifice. It's sacrament. It's giving up as a part uh, of you saying thank you to the Lord for anything that's going down because the creator had no law, had no rule that you had to fucking give. Everybody didn't have. So if you didn't have, was you stuck with sin? Fuck no. No. Um, remind me to go to Jeremiah 7, 22 and 23 after this, y'all. All right. Remind me. I know y'all can't, but remind me anyway. Figure it out. This is Deuteronomy 17. Start from the beginning. I want you to read that. It'll give you more understanding of why y'all is full of shit. I'm at. I'm at Deuteronomy 17 and 3 now. Turning to the worship of other gods and bowing down to them. All right, here we go. If there is found among you in one of the settlements that the Lord your God has given you, a man or woman who has affronted the Lord and transgressed his covenant, turning to the worship of other gods and bowing down to them, the sun, the moon, or any heavenly host, something I never commanded. You don't mix Egypt, sun, moon, and stars with God. Y'all understand what a jihad is. It's a holy war. Set apart and different. I fight one every day. I don't deal with the sun, the moon, and stars. Do you? If so, we ain't the same. So when you think I'm holier than you, I am. I am way more holier than you. And why would I be afraid to tell some heathen and ass pagan motherfucker that I'm holier than you? Nigga, you celebrate Christmas. I'm holier than you. Pick up your brick and cast your Jesus stone. My fucking scared to even look at a rock when I come in the room. You don't even know how to throw that shit because you have no idea what the creator required from you, do you? So I'm going to bully the fuck out of you. As much as I've been bullied, as much as people got bullied with that Jesus word, you're going you gonna to pay for that shit dearly from my tongue. It's going to be flames coming off this bitch that roast your Christian asses. It's paganism. It ain't of our creator. And I'm giving you the proof right now. So any of these days... That you find high, yeah high, highly, holy day. Keep at it, chief. Keep at it. We let the flames of God fuck you up. I ain't never got to see none of y'all. You understand what I'm saying? For any of y'all that's seeing this and, and that's mad at it, good. The fuck away from here. I don't watch Poppy Hassan Cam. I know that's, a, that's from left field, but I hate that nigga. So I don't watch him. And I don't have to worry about what he's saying. Y'all would do well to give me that same kind of respect because the word... Of the creator gonna burn your ass up if you ain't about that. I'm gonna say some shit to you, and it ain't gonna be in tradition. You're gonna say, oh, How can he talk like that? Because I talk like that. That's how you show me where the creator said, Don't talk like that. And I won't. But when you tell me something, nigga, I don't know you. You could eat shit. You eat crabs, lobster. Never mind, get the fuck away. That ain't no good. You celebrate any of those days, you got to have a check mechanism to even step to me. Because what you care about, I do not. 50-something here. Where you at? Which year you in? Which kind of shit that I already left and forgot about that you walking into, young nigga? Music did that. Press shit up in 92. Been out. All that shit, I ain't even going to give my, my spill about what I did. That shit is on here. Video. All y'all got is ideology. And the reason that I know, and I'm talking to you broad-chested ass, super black, pro-black, pan-African black niggas, y'all got a United States of America <laughs> driver's license and you paying taxes into Caesar. Democratic Socialist Report. They just said y'all owe us money. Y'all ain't even got the balls to question them. So my family, the people that I'm fucking with, they ain't got to question them. I'm questioning them on behalf of them. They support me. The, the people that come here and the supporting how y'all think just having or being able to have those people that I can have these conversations with to say, yo, Ed, I hear you, son. I hear you. I'm with you. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. It's the reason why I come. I got one young brother. Appreciate you, young man. <laughs> Talking about you remind me of pops I never had. 
I don't even consider myself a pops, even to my own son. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate that. But it's not from a, a pop perspective that I want to get the information, but I do appreciate it. It's like I want I want the generation under me to be able to talk to me like like somebody that's just been there before. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, it's not a get rich quick scheme with me. You dig it, y'all? So I appreciate I do more, more than y'all know, more than being able to express and under people understanding it wholeheartedly without faking without pump faking and having that thing in your life that connect you to this word i appreciate y'all man on some real shit i'm about to take a rip in a minute but give me a second turning to the worship of other gods and bowing down to them to the sun or moon or any of the heavenly host something i never commanded and you have been informed and have learned of it then you shall make a thorough inquiry. If it is true, the fact is established that a boring thing was done and perpetrated in Israel. It's no land Israel, y'all. It's that community. You shall take that man or woman who did that wicked thing out to the public place and you shall stone that man or woman to death. They didn't have police. So for you worshiping zodiac signs and shit like that. Y'all could be stoned to death, God's people. But Christians, y'all good with it. So y'all keep celebrating y'all birthdays and all that shit. A person shall be put to death only on the testimony of two or more witnesses. He must not be put to death on the testimony of a single witness. What's y'all court system look like? Let the hands of the witness be first against him to put him to death. Well, in the hands of the rest of the people thereafter, thus... You will sweep the evil out of your midst. They want it to be an execution. So everybody look and say, oh, shit, them niggas throwing rocks. If a case is too complicated for you to decide, be it a controversy over homicide, civil law, or assault matters of dispute in your courts, you shall promptly repair that place that the Lord your God had chosen. Um, fix it in the house of the Lord. The temple was called to be a place of judgment for the priesthood. And the judgment was based off the word of God. That That's what you judged everything by. This Deuteronomy 17. I know the elders never read this shit. Y'all phony. Appear before the Levitical priest or the magistrate in charge at that time and present your problem. When he have announced to you the verdict, you shall carry it out. You shall carry out the verdict that is announced to you from that place that the Lord chose, observing scrupulously all the instructions to you. You shall not act in accordance with the instructions. You shall, excuse me, you shall act in accordance with the instructions given you and the ruling handed down you. You must not deviate from the verdict that, that they announced to you, either to the right or to the left. Your rulers, they rule with the hand of God, not to the right or to the left. If people aren't giving you judgment based on the word of God, you're not to keep it. It's your job. It don't matter. Barack Obama announced the edict that two men could get married to each other. That's not the word of God. It didn't matter that he was in a position of judgment. They chose people after their own heart. Men that suck dick, they voted for a leader that would instill sucking dick in the society. You understand somebody after your own heart? You greedy ass niggas wanted some college money back. You voted for another greedy ass nigga. He just tricked you. Now look at you. Mask over your face. Jobs lost. Y'all concocted this story about race, about this other guy, and you paying for it, and your kids going to pay for it. Thank you, elders. They've been teaching you to do this for fucking ever. No proof of anything. Just silly shit. Should a man act presumptuously and disregard the priest charged with serving there, the Lord your God, or the magistrate, that man shall die. Thus you will sweep out this evil from Israel. It wasn't any police. Me, Rel, OGP, Dr. Chu, we the police because we men of God. You don't need to be qualified by man. Man cannot qualify God like God qualifies man. No matter what this motherfucker say, me and you, you, when you talk about equality, nigga, you can't make any giraffes, me either. I can't make the ocean. Most I can do is piss a puddle. You know, that's it. That shit going to drop before I can piss to a lake a stream, anything, so y'all challenging creation, you don't have to exist, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, but 
a order to creation will with or without your dumb ass so you here chasing the wind thinking that your order is your order fuck out of here barack you gonna pay too you black bastard all of y'all all, all these leaders, like, they never gonna get away with it. Look at these motherfuckers. Their lives are in shambles. Shout out to Colin Powell. He checked the fuck out. Vaccination. That'll stop the COVID. Right, Colin? Fuck out of here, nigga. All the people will hear and be afraid and will not act presumptuously again. Sending a message. But what are you sending a message for? To do right. Oh, how dare you stone somebody in the middle of the square because in Israel we do right. If after you have entered the land that the Lord your God has assigned you and taken possession and you decide I will set a king over me, as do all these nations about you, you shall be free to set a king over yourself, one chosen by God. Be sure to set as a king over yourself, one of your own people. Who is my people? What would they do? What's the common unity? Never set a foreigner over you who is not of your people. Moreover, wait a minute, give me a second, y'all. I got to change the uh, font because it's missing words out. You shall be free to set a king over yourself, one chosen by the Lord your God. Be sure to set over yourself a king as one of your own people. You must not set a foreigner over you, one who is not your kinsman. Moreover, he shall not keep many horses or send people back to Egypt to add to his horses, trading people for horses. King is going to trade flesh for horses. Since the Lord has warned you, you must not go back that way. And he shall not have many wives, kings, and he shall not have many wives totally contrary to what all this pro-black shit is you got to have extra wives having an extra wife in those times was work it was work nobody wanted to do it all these women weren't desirable women you know you could deny but it was so she wouldn't perish she used to have a husband they hunted they plowed they had animals women couldn't do that shit themselves what if they had a young baby it was about prosperity in the nation of Israel not perishing and having the women perish. Y'all made it into a sexcapade. It's not the word of God. It wasn't about polygamy. The creator wasn't big on polygamy. Some things were allowed as existence, not laws of God. Like, sacrifice, again, is not a law of God. I'm going to prove that in a second. And he shall not have many wives, lest his heart go astray. Nor shall he amass silver and gold to excess. You seen King Solomon, all the silver and gold, uh, Hezekiah bragging about all the things he had and then got smacked up by the Babylonians. And they read the book, y'all. Let it remain with him. Here we go. When he is seated on his royal throne, he shall have a copy of these teachings written for him on a scroll by a Levitical priest. Let it remain with him and let him read it in all his life so that he may learn to revere the lord is god to observe faithfully every word of these teachings as well as these laws thus he will not act heartily towards his fellows and deviate from the instructions to the right to the left to the end that he and his descendants may reign long in the midst of israel y'all dig it mm -mm, did i cover what i wanted to cover y'all Talk about the heavenly host. Don't talk about that. Turn into the worship of other gods. Something I never commanded. Thought I thought I saw it, y'all. We were set. My bad. It's talking about birthdays. Something I never commanded. <laughs> Do you want four? 17. Hold on, y'all. Let me take a rip real quick. 
play some music, y'all. I'ma put it in the air. Jessica Martin, appreciate you, sis. We're going to set these out on the street. That's the only way. We got to start there, y'all. The battle of white supremacy and shit. Those are smoke screens. Creator never gave us white supremacy, black supremacy, none of that shit. He just gave us an order to operate under. And people don't want to talk about it. They want to go guns, this, that, and the third. At the core, everything is behavior. behavior give me a second y'all pull that shit up I don't forgot the verse that's amazing too y'all My bad, y'all. That's what's wrong with my dumb ass. It's Deuteronomy 4. I had 17. My bad, folk. Yeah, this is it. You shall not add anything to what I command you or take anything away from it. But keep the commandments of the Lord your God that I give to you. That's Deuteronomy 4. I just read Deuteronomy 4 and 2. Uh, you saw with your own eyes what the Lord did, did in the matter of Baal. While you held fast to the Lord, all of you are alive today. So I'm at Deuteronomy 4, and I'm going down to... I'll start at 12. Y'all, read the whole thing, too, because I'm not skimming, like, past this dude to try to set up my own particular doctrine. I don't have a doctrine, y'all. I stand on the word. You see that, right, wholeheartedly. We, damn, we had an hour and 13 minutes in. Damn, I must be feeling good, y'all. The Lord spoke to you out of the fire. You heard the sound of words, but perceived no shape, nothing but a voice. He declared to you the covenant that he commanded you to observe the Ten Commandments, and he inscribed them on two stone tablets. At the same time, the Lord imparted to you laws, laws and rules, laws, laws in concrete, rules are for a certain time. Um, you can't be condemned for a rule. A rule is you need to be in the house at 10 o'clock and you need to eat all your food before you get up from the table. These things are good, but if somebody don't come in the house at a certain time, God can't hold them in accountability, especially when they over age of consent and they answer for themselves. It don't matter that they live in your house. That's observe a rule to try to have a man or woman to come in when you say and you let them stay in your house as as. A charity, you can't control them, even if they're your kids. As a child, it helps them not to get hurt. So rules are good at certain times. Then other times, rules take your, your rights from you. You know, these policies, that's what you live under now, like taxes, 
these are rules. These aren't laws. Basically, policies. Driving is a policy. That's not a rule. Like, we get to travel and we get to buy things to travel in. End of story. It doesn't matter how much the government try to bitch and complain. When you go on a sustained war about that, they'll give up. They'll break because the truth is going to stay the same. They'll keep going down this path, that path. I'm going down one path. I don't owe anybody anything to own anything. Life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness in America, which is one nation under God. So if I own an automobile, that's what I own. And they can't call my automobile a motor vehicle. These are their terms. When I talk about the cheat code, when I said I don't play the game, their game is motor vehicle, their game is driver. The truth is that I travel in an automobile because I don't get paid to transport people of goods. That's law. I will say that over and over again. They're going to keep coming up with lies, trying to change words. God is absolute. Y'all would have that same freedom, that same power if you wanted that war. You dig it? The cancer is no different than the policy of man. Once I challenged them on it and put the word of God on top of the cancer, it tried to fight and it got fucked up the same way the driver's license did, the same way that the taxes did. I'm not trying to convince you and shit. I'm showing you. And again, is why I appreciate the people that can come here. Any of you people that that's adverse, it's not going to be good for you here because there's nothing that you can say. It's nothing that you can prove that your word is any good. You just like everybody else to me and cutting through one of y'all is like cutting through a million of y'all. It's the blade of the truth is never dull. It's never dull. It's a laser blade. Fire will not be dulled. You can't do it. And the world will never be destroyed by water again. So what's left? Covenant. This ain't for dick sucking. This to say we will never be flooded again. So the cleanliness of the Lord is going to come from the flame, the blade. You can't. And if you're not going to be able to use water against it, you in some bad fucking shape. You think that some asshole like me to talk the way I talk just was thrust out here like this? Get the fuck out of here, man. Like, I'm y'all. I'm y'all. I'm the same. And that's why people hear this shit. It ain't no born with a white glow around me. Go fuck yourself, man. You understand the story of Moshe? This nigga was 40 years an Egyptian, a pagan. Who better than Moshe? Knowing the ins and outs. Did, did y'all see that in the story? He knew how to communicate with these motherfuckers, for he was one of them. Abraham was a Chaldean, a pagan, Maximus, stargazer, moon, sun, stars. Let me get back to that. For your own sake, therefore, be most careful since you saw no sheep when the Lord your God spoke to you at Horeb out of the fire, not to act wickedly and make for yourself a sculptured image and any likeness, any likeness, any likeness, elder, no sculptured image in any likeness. Well, the cross, man, that's his son. Show me the verse. Elders, show me the verse. Or you are lying and your kids know you're a liar. Lying ass. Not to act wickedly and make for yourself a sculptured image in any likeness, whatever the form, man, woman, the form of any beast on the earth, the form of any winged bird that flies in the sky, the form of anything that creeps on the ground, the form of any fish. Got a fish with Jesus right in the middle. The form of any fish in the waters that's below the earth because Jesus was a fisherman. And when you look up to the sky and behold the sun, the moon, the stars, the whole heavenly host, you must not be Lord in the bowing down to them or serving them. These, the Lord your God, allotted to other peoples everywhere under the heaven. So... Hey, look, by all means, serve the sun, the moons, and stars, but don't utter God out your mouth. You a liar. And that's why your life is fucked up. You amalgamating his word. See, holy is set apart and different. I am holy. This is a jihad. Every day I'm jihading against this bullshit. Look it up. Christians, again, jihad is a bad idea. These guys are suicide bombers. Ain't nothing suicidal about Islam. It's scary to Christians. 
It's extremely scary because it bears the truth. You know, it's it's scary to Judaism because it it bears the truth. These people have stole a whole lifestyle. This the sex is right there. There's no way Israel is a chosen stock like your fucking ancestors. Abraham and Sarah, brother and sisters, did we not read Leviticus? Don't see the nakedness of your mom. Canaan was cursed because he fucked his mama. But we're going to just let Abraham have a pass. God is not to respect the person. It's to respect the order because Abraham was a goddamn pagan. But he crossed over Hebrew. That's what that means. Sarah was a sister. You can't get past that. You're not going to glorify, make that attractive to me. Don't play with me. Get the fuck out of here. I stand on what it's easy. You know, back then, oh, the nakedness, oh, yada, yada, yada. They didn't know what that meant. You know, I'm in it. I know what it means. Malcolm X, Dr. King, they didn't know some of the stuff that I know right now. And y'all think that's disrespectful to say that. It would be disrespectful to God to say that I don't know more than Dr. King than Malcolm X. You know, I know more. From their shoulders, I know more. They did investigation that I don't have to do. I can take it from that point and move on. You know, like, and I have with Malcolm. Malcolm is one of the reasons why I know you niggas ain't shit talking about your blackness. Or else should I drop it on him, bro? I'm going to do it, elders, because this is you. This is your wicked asses. This is why we stuck right now. It's the children. This is the punishment that we got from y'all wicked asses. You understand what I'm saying? Let me come here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play some more Malcolm, right? But this is how I know more than Malcolm. Right here, it's not Negro leaders that got us fucked up. 
why would you look for leaders outside your house? That's crazy because Malcolm's dad was, was a pastor, a Baptist minister, whatever. He was leading his own house. He didn't look outside his house. So I guess his dad was a leader and he, he mistook leader and dad, those two terms or whatever. But me, I'm a step above Malcolm because of Malcolm. You know, if he hadn't embarked on that Negro leaders and I looked at it wholeheartedly in the round, I'm like, why would a Negro lead me anywhere? Anybody that has aspirations of leading, he has aspirations of gain. You know, you do out of it needs to be done. This is why a, a politician, it shouldn't be a paid job. They should have another job and they care enough about where they live at to do that shit. You understand? This is this is the word of the creator. It has nothing to do with money. Again, back to Malcolm, right? It's not disrespect to Malcolm. That is a tweak. Like Malcolm did all that heavy lifting. He was back then. He could speak on that. That's what an elder is for. When I'm gone or years down, somebody after me should be using all this information that I embarked on already to be better and way ahead of where I am. If in the history I turned out to be a Malcolm X type, and I'm saying this because y'all just think that Malcolm was Malcolm. At the time this brother was doing what he was doing, he know about today that I would know about him. Y'all vision is stuck on shit like that. Dr. King, too. This motherfucker didn't grow up thinking I'm going to be Dr. King one day. I'm going to have a dream and all this other shit. What happened was the moment. And they stepped in the moment. Motherfuckers will say, do I think I'm Malcolm X? Malcolm X didn't think he was Malcolm X. What the fuck is wrong with y'all with that weak shit? And then you deifying a brother like this. I'm like, I'm giving him props as an elder, but I ain't stuck. And what he's saying, I can expand upon and get that shit to my son, the next generation. We ain't waiting for some Negro leader. We ain't Negroes. We ain't black. Another thing that Malcolm had wrong and didn't have a time to get back to because I was black when this first started. I hated Trump when this first started. You know, in my lifetime, I got a chance, the opportunity for the creator to see the truth and change. So I jumped in it. I ain't scared of no niggas. No honkies, no nothing. Fuck all of y'all. Y'all come get some. Come get some under under a man or a woman. I ain't gonna let y'all hide in groups, lesbians, Jews. All of y'all can get the blessings of God or you can get the curses. You know what I'm saying? I'm indifferent to what you call yourself. Like the creator. I'm after the creator's own likeness. I could be good, evil, light, darkness. It depends. You know what I'm saying? You, you running around looking for a devil. El Diablo with the horns. Y'all learn that shit from. Show me Satan in the Bible. Show me Lucifer. And I'll show you the star of Venus that they couldn't see in the morning. I'll show you a poem that the Israelites was using to, to basically troll the king of Babylon. Oh, look how you fall from grace. That's what it is. Y'all want to use y'all spooky shit and say he was talking about a uh, angel falling from grace, Lucifer. God don't deal in angels the way y'all try to make it sound. Even the story with Abraham, anywhere in this book, where it's a being a God other than God talking to people, that shit superstition. And I don't give a fuck who y'all are because the order of God is this one. Let us make man in our image added on. How do I know? Because God is not in the plural. The next verse tells the truth. God made man in his image. It's add-ons, and I'm arrogant enough to stand on it in front of anybody. Any of these theologians, these niggas that went to school to get a grade, to get a job, come get some, please, on your stage, wherever. You know, I'm outside of your box, so I'm dangerous. You can't control me with your mechanisms. I deal with God. Y'all deal with getting grades and degrees of man. The <laughs> fuck I need a degree of man for? It's men with degrees that said I had stomach cancer and five months to live. It's men with degrees that say you can't build muscle at a certain age. Ski, ski, ski in your motherfucking face. The Negro leaders. These are puppets that have been put in front of the Negro community by white liberals. These are parents that have been put in front of the Negro community by oh, white no. liberals. You can't name religious them. leader teaches us uh, the importance of doing something for ourselves now rather than trying to continue to force ourselves let me set this up to y'all. Um, I'm basically going to intermission and I'm, I'm bringing it to Malcolm because Malcolm is validation for me. 
you know, it's proof that it was brothers back there that that was born ignorant, but figure something out, but just didn't have enough people around him that was true to what he was talking about. You know, people was behind the membership. Malcolm was so true, he separated himself from, and it caused tension between him and a lion ass faction or a, mem a group of people, you know, a religious group. Once the creator grabs a hold of you, all that shit goes out the window. Malcolm's death, the way he died, um, whatever it was between him and the creator, that's what it was. The creator's the deal of death. I don't know what Malcolm transgressed. Again, that's between Malcolm and the creator. Like I said, I, I say the word of God, and God going to destroy or deliver based on that witness. If, if you say something or you do something that's out of line of God, all it takes is a witness to call it out, and you can be held in account. Most times people don't get called out or get held in account. I'm not going to play whether y'all think that people get held in account or not. I don't care. I'm going to call it out for God. And I could tell you what I've been seeing. And I called myself out and I called a couple other things out. And it's manifested. So I don't have a belief system. I follow what the rules say. Whether I believed in them or not had nothing to do with me acting them out. And I'm living in, in the peace that walking the stuff out is to bring you. You know, I'm living in it now. So to give you a little backdrop about what Malcolm is saying in this next clip. And I get it. He like black people don't have anything to offer and busy talking about the white man this, the white man that. Nobody's seeing you as an equal period, not black, white or other. You have nothing to offer as human beings. You know, he's nice about the way he said, but he's saying it ain't no equity in you. And he was saying Elijah Muhammad taught you to clean yourself up, do something for yourselves, and then they'll take you as men. It won't be black or white. And you trying to force yourself, somebody to love you just because you black? You're out your mind. This is what Malcolm is saying. Y'all think that he banging for y'all. This is one of the reasons why they killed him, because... He was transcending that old elder bullshit, that ancestral shit, and they killed him for it, you know? And y'all still support the organization on the ideology that killed the man that had daughters that was defending pedophilia, basically. Religious leader teaches us uh, the importance of doing something for ourselves now rather than trying to continue to force ourselves uh, into the white community or upon the white man. He teaches us that if we would do something for ourselves, clean up ourselves, uh, morally, intellectually, and otherwise, and then try and do something for ourselves economically, uh, we would be recognized and accepted by others. But as long as we try and force ourselves in upon others now without having done nothing to prove that we uh, are on any kind of equal basis with them, there will always be this uh, race tension and race problem. When you say force yourselves upon others, upon the white community, how exactly do you do that? Well, any form of uh, integration, forced integration, any, 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 any effort to force integration upon whites is actually uh, hypocritical. There is a form of hypocrisy involved. If, uh, if a white man puts his arm around me voluntarily, that's brotherhood. But if, uh, you, if you hold a gun on him and make him embrace me, and pretend to be friendly or brotherly toward me, then that's not brotherhood, that's hypocrisy. And what America is trying to do is pass laws to force whites to pretend that they want Negroes into their schools or into the, in their places of uh, um, employment. Well, this is hypocrisy, and this makes uh, a worse a relationship between black and white rather than if, the, if this could be brought about on a voluntary basis. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says that if the, what should happen is the black man himself should learn how to develop himself in the same sense that the white man has developed himself, then they can both come together and recognize each other as equals. Well, how can Now, that supports what Malcolm said about the immigrants coming here with nothing. And this black thing, it's time to get rid of that shit, y'all. On God, the creator, every every punishment that was bestowed upon me, you, black, whoever, 
It's because of your own hand. Um, I'm not giving God passes to people. I stand in this word wholeheartedly and charge myself the same way. So that slavery shit is dead. It's a punishment from God. And about this America that we live in, no matter what happened with the colonies early on, in the 1900s early, they hit a depression here. Your slavery didn't matter. It was off the books. And when it crashed here, when they had that stock market crash for the Great Depression, if you didn't have anything, you didn't lose anything. If you wasn't sitting on high, the crash wasn't really anything to you. What happened was the other side got the feel how you live. So nobody had money. Everybody crashed back then. This country got built back up. What happened to blacks in that building time? Because everybody's dirt poor and poverty. You got gangs, five points, the Irish, the Italians, the Dutch. You know, again, the Irish gangs were formed because they were being harassed by who would be the earlier KKK, which were the native boys or Bill Pool, Bill the Butcher Pool. You, again, the gangs in New York, check it out. All of these people were dirt poor, immigrants, didn't fuck with each other, hated each other, had nothing to do with the skin tone. The Irish, Italians, the Jews didn't fuck with each other. Why would you be any different blacks? They didn't like you, so they called you niggas and you got offended. That's no different from being called a wop, a spick, or whatever. It's the same shit. But people weaponize your ignorance. And they still weaponizing it today. You really think that you... you did, you owe something for your blackness. You you got what you supposed to get for your blackness. A kick in the ass from the most high. Your blackness is you avoid without God. You don't even know who you are. You don't still. Why should I listen to anything anybody black say? You don't know as much as I know. And one thing, calling yourself black, void anything that come out your mouth. And I'm not going to try to understand you from this point. What I will do is have a conversation with you when you free yourself up from that blackness, but we ain't even talking from the same place. You saying I'm afflicted and I'm proud and I'm, I'm pro affliction. You silly as shit. All these people that I thought once upon a time was intelligent from the com common senses to the roots, to all these fake ass niggas, all of these niggas is fake. The one that, that most deaf, Bro left out of here. He understood some shit. Lauren Hill understands some shit too. But Christianity and that Jesus blood, that's holding a lot of people back. They really think they connected to, to this fairy tale. Greek, Germanic, like these motherfuckers pledge fraternities and think it don't have... Y'all know what a curse is? My grandmother used to say to open an umbrella in the house is bad luck. It's bad luck. Opening an umbrella in the house does nothing. If you put that in your mind, you say it enough, incantations, the first time you get a hangnail, I knew I shouldn't open the umbrella. It's a curse. Don't exist. But the amazing part about it, the dumb part, the motherfuckers won't do it for blessings. They won't say, if I do it this way, and, and, and operating for good. Like, if I get up every day and do 10 push-ups, my body going to be better. You, you won't curse yourself that way, right? <laughs> I, I think I'm going to wrap it up for right now. I've been here. It's 10 of 7. I'm going on an hour and 40 minutes. Um, I'll be back to Jihad not over on you elders. So y'all y'all going to do what you're supposed to do, you know? And I trust that you old fuckers not going to vote next go round because obviously you don't know enough. You fucking basically enslaved your next couple generations with your stupidity, with your willing to belong to shit that don't suit nobody else. It's time for y'all to, to pay back the next generation for all the fuckery that you put down on them. And I ain't some little ass boy, you know, and you can't persuade me to the left or to the right because the fuckery that I'm talking about, I was the progenitor of myself, you know. All praises to... A lot, a creator, the most high, that I didn't pass that shit down to my son and my daughter. So, y'all, you not glued to it. The pride and ego that you have, 
You can keep that, right? But what you do is you use that for righteousness. I ain't never going to drop my pride and ego. But I won't do it arrogantly for something stupid. It's going to be worth something. So as proud as you dumb fucks are for standing on the other side of God, you're going to be dealing with something coming your way on the other side. You know? So I appreciate y'all once again. Sis, you know what it is. You know, like it's going to be days. Had those days, but I'm still here. You still here. We wage in war. It's a jihad. Love you. Nephew Rel. What's up, nephew? Little brother Brennan. Shout out to you, man. Appreciate you. Um, OGP, appreciate you as well. Dr. Chu, my brother. Uh, shit. Where I'm going at? Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to pull up my man's name so I can shout him out. Somebody commented on something. I want to shout the brother out. A young brother told me I reminded him of his pops. Definitely. Just want to give him his props, y'all, for shouting yeah. the brother out. Um, hold on one second. Who is it? Second Perspective. That's who it is. I want to shout you out as well, young man. Did I miss anybody? Brother Jay, Dolo. Uh, Isarelli, all my family, most of these brothers I met on Periscope, and just from an open, a open discussion, dialogue, most of these brothers checked out everything I said, came back with, with what I was saying intact. Um, shout out to the sister, sis, I love you, Jack, Jackie, sis, we we in here, we battling, right? Sister Jessica Martin, shout out to you. Maria Ali, Philly Fly Girl, Sis Low, a lot of love. I appreciate all of y'all. Shalom, Islam. Shalom, Aleikum, Alhamdulillah. Mashallah, y'all. God bless and have a good day. All right, y'all. Peace.